Our top story this morning, Education Minister Stephen Lecce says the province will table legislation today to keep kids in classrooms amid threats of a strike by some 55,000 education workers. CP24 Chanel Call is live outside of Queen's Park with the latest on this story. Chanel, good morning. Good morning to you as well, Jennifer. Look, Stephen Lecce, Ontario's education minister, is saying he simply has no choice now but to enact this legislation here at Queen's Park that would essentially prevent about 55,000 QP workers across the province of Ontario from striking this Friday. Now, here's what led to this moment. Yesterday, we know the two sides met in what was an emergency mediated meeting. QP and the province were back at the table yesterday. And during that emergency meeting, Jennifer, the the province presented a new updated contract to QP and that contract by the way also included an increase in wages annually for those QP members. This was not good enough for QP. They rejected that offer yesterday and instead provided the province with the required five days notice to strike which means the earliest they could strike here in Ontario is this Friday. We're talking about a really large group of workers right 55,000 workers across the province of Ontario within the education sector. Sector, people like custodians, admin staff, as well as ECE workers. So certainly this could be very disruptive. That is why Education Minister Stephen Lecce says he's going to be putting forward this legislation today at Queen's Park. But when it comes to the threat of legislation uh, and intervention by the government on this front, Laura Walton with QP, Jennifer, she says uh, this is basically the province slapping the hand of all of these workers. It's sad we've been told the pressure of a potential strike is what is needed to make the Ford government take our negotiations seriously. No one wants to strike. Least of all, the lowest paid education workers who can barely pay our bills. Still, we need a significant wage increase and we deserve it. And right now, school boards can't keep, never mind hire, enough qualified workers because the pay is so low. So we know that wage and uh, pay has been really the biggest sticking point between the two sides leading up to this moment. But just so our viewers know, back in 2019, the last time these two parties reached an agreement, uh, it really did come down to the final few hours. The two sides ended up striking a deal just one day before uh, QP members were set to go on strike. So certainly a very fluid situation. We'll be watching everything very closely. Uh, the province, though, sending out a media advisory this morning Morning, Jennifer saying that they do plan on tabling this bill, um, this piece of legislation, I should say, at one o'clock today. And Minister Stephen Lecce is set to take questions from reporters at two o'clock today. Of course, we'll bring you this live here on CP24 when that begins. Back to you. Okay, Chanel Call live for us outside of Queen's Park this morning. Thank you. Now, school boards are coming up with plans in the event there is a strike on Friday. The Toronto Catholic District School Board has announced that it would close the doors of its schools if the strike goes ahead. Meantime, the TDSB says it will have more information today about contingency plans. And the Halton District School Board's elementary schools will move to alternating days of in-class and virtual learning. Secondary schools, keep in mind, they aren't impacted if there is a strike. Meanwhile, Kawartha Pine Ridge District School Board and Peterborough, Victoria, Northumberland and Clarington Catholic School Board say they would close in the event of a strike.